Welcome to the channel. My name is Matthias. Today we're going to talk about the New Mutants issues 14 to 17 written by Chris Claremont where we have a lot going on in these issues especially we have Magic joining the team and the first appearance of the Hellions and them going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the New Mutants. So without further ado let's get into this. So in this first issue as I mentioned previously Magic joins the team. She was rescued by the X-Men from Limbo. She was kidnapped by Velasco. We get this classic miniseries that came out prior to this issue where we discover that Magic grew up in Limbo. She was taught by Belasco and by other beings sorcery. She as a character is profoundly messed up and always dealing with the fact that she has this dark side trying to take over. And at least for me, she's profoundly fascinating. So in this issue, she joins the New Mutants. She's trying to adapt herself to a normal teenage life. When Sim, the enforcer for Belasco, arrives on Earth trying to take her back, we have the New Mutants battling against Sim, and Magic's able to defeat him. And the funny thing is that Sim immediately changes sides and owes allegiance to Magic and becomes her enforcer. Now, what I like about Sim is that he's always one step away from betraying you and just going to the other side or stabbing you in the back. Now, in issue 15, we're going to start the story arc where the New Mutants meet the Hellions for the first time. Now, this story actually starts off with Doug Ramsey. He gets enrolled into this prestigious school in Massachusetts. Kitty Pride sort of freaks out over this whole situation because she knows that school is being run by the White Queen, Emma Frost, so she goes to investigate. So obviously, she gets captured by the White Queen. And what happens afterwards is that the New Mutants realize that Kitty Pride is MIA and Magic, who is her closest friend, uses astral projection to find her, and she finds that she's captive under Emma Frost. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Emma Frost realizes that they're being observed by the astral projection of magic and attacks it. This leaves magic out for the count, totally unconscious, and her eyes start spewing out demons since she can't protect or block Limbo. Limbo starts invading Earth. It's a small invasion, but the interesting thing is this idea that magic if she's not in control she's a liability to the rest of the team so now we have the new mutants having to deal with a horde of demons running around the x-mansion so once magic is snapped out of her catatonic state they're able to deal with all the demons and then she gives the new mutants the news that kitty is captured by the white queen and they have to go rescue her so finally when the new mutants arrive to emma frost school they try to rescue kitty pride and they find themselves fighting against Emma Frost's very own new mutants. They're called the Hellions. These characters are going to be set up as the arch rivals to the new mutants for the rest of the run. So the roster to the Hellions is pretty interesting. First we have Roulette who has these weird luck powers. Then we have Thunderbird who's the younger brother to the Thunderbird who died on one of the first X-Men missions, the giant size X-Men. This character will evolve later on into Warpath. Then we have the werecat cat's eye that in her human form she retains her cat's eyes and she looks really weird. Then we have Tarot who can make her tarot cards come to life. One would think she would have precognitive powers too thrown in there. I'm not sure if this is the case. Then we have the flyer Jetstream. He's like the cannonball to the team. But my favorite member on the Hellions is the total asshole of Empath. The guy is a straight up psychopath, like in the first battle that we have against the New Mutants, he actually puts the life of Jetstream at risk just to defeat the New Mutants, and actually Cannonball has to save Jetstream's life. Even the White Queen is like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? And she realizes that he's sort of a danger to the rest of his team. So the New Mutants are defeated, and what happens is Magic and Mirage are able to escape. They go into limbo while this is going on. The White Queen is going to try to enroll the rest of the New Mutants into her own academy. So Mirage and Magic are able to regroup. And when they try to go back to Earth from Limbo, they accidentally jump into the future where they see that the New Mutants actually have become Hellions and they're sort of down with the whole situation. Now, for those who don't know, time in Limbo is really weird. It's not lineal like on Earth. It's also the same case with the Mojiverse. But what happens here is that Magic and Mirage go back to Limbo. They jump back to Earth again, and they jump back in right around one week after the initial conflict now. They're able to rescue their teammates, and we get a showdown between Jetstream and Cannonball in the Danger Room that the Hellions have the copy of it. And what's cool to see in this battle is that we have Cannonball, who has learned how to use his powers better, and this helps him get the upper hand over Jetstream. 
But things go south when the Black King arrives, Sebastian Shaw. The New Mutants try to take him down, but they don't stand a chance. They actually have to retreat with the help of Kitty Pride, who uses a distraction. She shorts out the whole danger room there, and it starts attacking the Hellions and the Black King and Emma Frost. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.